Hello friends, today we are going to start a new topic in linear equations in two variables. But mind well, in this topic, the equations are actually not in the proper given form. We have to reduce those equations in the pair of linear equations in two variables. Okay. Tumala Athwar Asel ki second chapter la quadratic equations mare sudda ha topic ala hota. कि ते इक्वेशन्स आधी क्वाड्रेटिक ना होता, अने आपन टे रिड्यूस करूँ, मंजे दूसरा कहते रहे सब्सटिट्यूट करूँ, आपन टे क्वाड्रेटिक स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्म में दे आंडला, अने मग सॉल्व किला। इन दिस केस आल्सो, द इक्वेशन्स इनिशियली आर नॉट इन अ लिनियर फॉर्म, बट वी हैव टू कन्वर्ट दोस Reducible equations reducible we are going to see. Now let us see some examples. 4 upon x plus 3 upon y is equal to 1. Now if you solve this or if you simplify this and uh, second equation is 8 by x 8 upon x minus 9 upon y is equal to 7. Now if you simply solve this, what will happen? If you cross multiply, then 4x plus 3y upon xy. Now when the xy term is there, it is not a, a linear equation, right? So what we have to do? We have to first reduce it to the standard form of the linear equation or the, since the two equations are there, a pair of linear equations in two variable. Now can you see how, how can we reduce? You know that we have already learned such things in quadratic equation. What we will do? Here we have 1 upon x and 1 upon y. Here also we have 1 upon x and 1 upon y. So first I will do let m is equal to 1 upon x and n is equal to 1 upon y. Okay. So now what equations we will get? We will get 4m plus 3n is equal to 1 and second we get 8m plus 9n is equal to 7. So now we have got our standard form of linear equations, a pair of, a pair we get. Now we have to just solve this. Okay. We have solved so many examples simultaneously. So I don't think I should solve this again. Better you pause your video and solve this and find out the value of m and n. Okay. Just pause your video and solve this. Okay. Now by solving this, we will get the value of n is equal to minus 1 by 3 and value of m is equal to 1 by 2. So we have to re-substitute in this and then we will get more equations. Let us see. So, n is equal to minus 1 by 3 and n is 1 upon y is equal to minus 1 by 3. So, y is equal to minus 3. m is 1 upon x is equal to 1 by 2. So, x is equal to 2. So, ultimately we get the answer y equal to minus 3 and x equal to 2. The main trick is only in the substitution, that's all. Once you substitute, then you have got the very simple uh, linear equations to solve and you can find out the value of y and x. But mind well, in the flow of exam or in the flow of solving the examples, don't forget to find the value of y and x from these two. Why? Because our goal or what you have been asked is not to find out the value of m and n. I have seen, I have seen that many students just leave the example at this stage. They just find the value of n and m and they think that this is the answer. No, this is not the answer. You have to resubstitute and find out the values of x and y. Okay. Let us see another example. Example is, 1 upon 3x minus 1 upon 4y plus 1 equal to 0 
and 1 upon 5x plus 1 upon 2y equal to 4 upon 15. These two equations are given. Again, we have to convert these equations into the linear equations in two variables. Okay? What we can do? Very simple. 1 upon x will be m and 1 upon y will be n. Let us do that. m is equal to 1 upon x and n is equal to 1 upon y. So when you substitute this, what you will get? Two new equations you will get which are simpler equations which we can solve and find out the values of m and n and from m and n resubstituting here we will get the values of x and y. Let us do this. So we have m upon 3 minus n upon 4 equal to minus 1 and m upon 5 plus n upon 2 equal to 4 upon 15. Very simple. Now you can just cross multiply and eliminate the denominator. That is we have 4 m. So we have 4 m minus 3 n upon 12 equal to minus 1 and 2 m plus 5 n upon 10 equal to 4 upon 15. Then simply eliminate the denominator by transferring it to the other side of the equation. So here we will get 4 m minus 3 n is equal to minus 12 and 2 m plus 5 n is equal to 4 into 10 upon 15 that we have 8 upon 3. Okay? So, this is again a normal equations in two variables, linear equations. We have already solved so many examples of this type. So, pause your video here and solve these two equations to find out the value of m and n. Okay? Just pause your video. By solving this, we get m is equal to minus 2 and n is equal to 4 upon 3. Please check your answer whether you have got the same answers or not. Now, we are at the intermediate level that is we have got m and n but we have to resubstitute. So, m is 1 upon x. So, we have 1 upon x is equal to minus 2 and 1 upon y is equal to 4 upon 3 and hence we have x is equal to minus 1 upon 2 and y is equal to 3 by 4. So here we solve the example. To be bagitla sel ki he examples atishya sopier fakta pahili step tumala neat yaila havi. Manje jikade tumi reduce karna sati substitute jiwa karta m n kya a b kya kahi p q Tachanantar examples Atisha Sopiota. Tika. Let us see one more example. Slightly different. Can you see? 7 upon 2x plus 1 plus 13 upon y plus 2 equal to 27. And here 13 upon 2x plus 1 plus 7 upon y plus 2 equal to 33. Very simple. These are not actually, right now they are not in the linear equation forms. Now we have to first reduce it to the linear form. How we will do it? Very simple. I will take m is equal to 1 upon 2x plus 1 and n is equal to 1 upon y plus 2. When you substitute this, what we will get? 7m plus 13n equal to 27. Okay? Let us write this. and 13m plus 7n is equal to 33. This is what we get. Okay? Now these are the two simultaneous linear equations in two variables. Now you have to solve this. I am not going to solve, you are going to solve this. But I will just give you one hint. Can you see that coefficients are interchange? 7 and 13 and 13 and 7. 
so what should we do first we should first add and subtract and reduce it to further simpler form right so we have in the first step we will add this that is 20m plus 20n is equal to 20m plus 20n is equal to 60 and in second we will subtract When I want to subtract, I'll just change the sign negative and negative. Okay, what I'll get here 13 minus 7, 6. That is, I get here minus 6m again 13 minus 7 plus 6n is equal to minus 6. Now we have got the simpler equations. Can you see this? 20 is common, right? If I divide this equation by 20 and if I divide this equation by 6 what I'll get don't write it directly or don't do uh, any operations directly when you are solving in the exams write it there dividing by 20 dividing by 6 something like that okay so divide by 20 and we'll get m plus n is equal to 3 and here divide by I'll say 6 and you get minus n plus n is equal to minus 1. So now we really have got two very simple equations when you solve it simultaneously you will get the values of m and n and by resubstituting to these equations you will get the value of x and y right so please pause your video here solve these two equations you nothing you have to do you can just add this minus m and m will get cancelled add two equations and then only n will remain and you will get your answer okay just pause your video here and find the value of m and n by solving this we get m is equal to 2 and n is equal to 1. Now quickly resubstitute values of m and n in the equations we get in the first step that is m is equal to 1 upon 2x plus 1 is equal to 2 and here we have 1 upon y plus 2 equal to 1 so here I'll get I'll shift it there so 4x plus 2 equal to 1 and here y plus 2 equal to 1 so 4x equal to minus 1 x equal to minus 1 by 4 here y is equal to minus 1 so this is our final answer x is equal to minus 1 by 4 y is equal to minus 1 and here our example gets over okay we'll see one more example so friends here we have one more example for reducible reducible form okay 14 upon x plus y plus 3 upon x minus y equal to 5 first e equation and second is 21 upon x plus y and minus 2 upon x minus y equal to 1 now can you tell me what we can substitute just think once correct m is equal to 1 upon x plus y and n is equal to 1 upon x minus y now quickly substitute this and you will get the answers uh, we will get the two equations which we are going to solve for our final answer so what I will get here 14m plus 3n equal to 5 14n 
plus 3n equal to 5 and 21m minus 2n equal to 1. We have got these two equations. Now pause your video here and quickly solve to find out the value of m and n. Now we get the answer 1 upon 7 and 1. M is equal to 1 upon 7 and N is equal to 1. Now we have to resubstitute them there. So we get 1 upon X plus Y is equal to 1 upon 7 and 1 upon X minus Y is equal to 1. So here I get X plus Y is equal to 7 and X minus Y is equal to 1. We can solve it further very easy even if you just add y will get eliminated. Okay. So solve it quickly and you will get the final answer. The final answer is x equal to 4 and y equal to 3. This is our final answer. Generally the solution of the simultaneous linear equations, the linear equations are solutions are written in this form. Why? Because you know this is the equation of straight line and both the equations are of straight lines and this is the point of intersection and generally the point is given like this x and y. So the answer we should write in this form or even if you write the answers like this that is fine. So now we should uh, go to exercise 3.4. We have seen the linear equations or equations reducible to the pair of linear equations in two variables. Now based on this we are going to solve exercise 3.4. So friends we have learned this topic thoroughly. We have solved some examples for practice but we are going to solve all the exercises which are given in the book along with the problem set then the hots, some paper solutions everything we are going to solve for further solution of exercises and problem set, please purchase our DVD. You can buy our DVD online by visiting our websites. The address for the websites or the place where you can buy your DVDs are given just below this video in the description. Thank you very much.